I'm here to do a do-it-yourself video on this Kipal size 55 bandolier style. I will be dyeing the Vaqueta leather into uh, to a black color. I've been wanting to have the Makassar Kipal for a long time, but since I already have a monogram with the regular Vachetta, I'm thinking I'd rather just paint it to give it a new look. I've seen some people do um, like dyeing their Alma PM or their Speedy and it looks really good. So I've never seen anybody else painted their Kipal so I guess I'll be the first one to do that. Um, so my supplies I got from Michael's. Um, so you need a couple of brushes, small ones, and um, the slanted one, I guess I'm going to need to get into the sides. Um, and the smaller ones I'm going to be using to use on the piping. And this is a fragrance-free baby wipe that I'll be using to clean or prepare the vachetta first. I'm going to be cleaning that with the baby wipes and then drying them, drying it out for like uh, overnight before I, I dye it with the black color. This is a painter's tape which I'll be putting on like sides so that it won't um, get uh, messed, messed up by the paint. Um, optional for you guys if you want to use gloves that's fine but um, some people say you know they don't use gloves because um, the, they actually um, can hold their uh, their brushes better without gloves I guess um, I'll be using the paper towel a cloth to buff the leather later on after painting it and this is the paint that I'll be using this is a five bangs leather color in black I got this from Michaels and it's in the leather section IL2 um, I hope this is enough for the vachetta and the, the one that I'm actually missing right now is called the Resoline it's also um, by Fibings. This I'm probably going to get from Amazon. I won't be using this right away because I have to wait till the paint really dries up after a couple of coats. And I guess um, just keep on watching if you want to see this video. Okay, so I got a um, fragrance free wipe. That I'll be using to clean the vachetta just to uh, clean all the oils or the excess dirt. Okay, so I'll be putting the painter's tape um, at the edges here to protect the canvas when I dye the vachetta with the black color. This is the type of brush that I'll be using. It's pointy and really tiny. And I'm also going to try to use the slanted one. So this is the dye that I'll be using. So I'm going to start on the bottom part of my key ball just to kind of test it out. Make sure that I, if I make a mess and it's going to be in the bottom.
So I've uh, painted uh, the bachetta about three to four times already. So you have to dry them in between coating. And um, after uh, it all dried up, I'm going to have to buff it with this cloth. This is a non-abrasive type of cloth. And I'll be sealing it with this sealant called Acrylic Wrestling from 5 Inks. Uh, both of these 5 Inks um, dye and the wrestling were ordered from Amazon.com. So I'm back. Um, I finished painting or dyeing the straps. I did two coats on each. So after it's been um, dry for a couple of hours, actually I used a hair dryer to help speed up the process. And after you think that it's all dried, um, what I do is I just buff with uh, this is a really soft uh, cloth. And so you just buff the area here so that it'll be smooth and soft once you put the the wrestling um, protective finish for leather. So this is acrylic wrestling from Five Inks. I ordered this from Amazon.com. I'm back to do my um, the brass metal on the bag. Um, I'm going to be polishing them because um, throughout the process, um, sometimes you're, um, you get to put a little bit of a dye on the edge of the metal. So I'll be cleaning them with this brasso. Um, this is the finished product of the baquera or bachera, however you want to say it, after I dyed it. So, it took me a long time because I was busy the whole week. So, um, usually you probably will be able to, to uh, finish the whole process in two to three days. But it took me like three weeks or so because I just don't have time to finish it. Anyway, um, so that's that, and now I have a matching 
um, bag on the side here, it's the Retiro. So this will be a good um, travel companion to my Kipals. This is actually size 50, Bandelier. And this is the Retiro in Noir. So that's it guys, I polished the uh, brass with the Brasso. And so, it's shiny again. And um, that's it. So I hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.